I'm Tammy Fontana with All in the Family Counseling Center, Private Limited. And today I'm talking about marriages where you have a conflict avoider. And you may be married to one or maybe you even claim to be yourself a conflict avoider. This is a really common thing that brings people into my office. And the really paradoxical thing about people who claim to be conflict avoiders is they seem to get the most conflict. <laughs> as much as you try and organize uh, to prevent conflict, you always seem to get it either down the road or right up front. And this process of avoiding conflict creates huge amounts of problems for marriages. So how do I help people who um, really hate conflict or want to avoid it? Well, here's the unfortunate truth. Uh, that conflict is not really something that you want to avoid. And in fact, um, when Dr. Gottman, one of the very well-known uh, family therapists from the United States did a study, they found that happily married couples spend 80% of their time in conflict. So, oh my gosh, is it realistic to be able to avoid conflict in marriage? No. So here's the reality of how I help couples. Um, I try and help people see uh, that conflict doesn't have to mean yelling and screaming. So I try to use the word dilemma. And the reality is that conflict discussions or disagreements are actually a really purposeful behavior in a marriage. Why, you might ask? Well, that's because it's through conflict. It helps us to realize that no matter how much we love somebody, they are different than us. And the purpose of healthy conflict or healthy dilemma discussions actually allows us to accomplish several things. One, it allows us uh, to learn about how our partner is different and to leverage our differences as strength. Mother Nature loves diversity. That's why we don't marry in our family. The more different we are, the more strengths it brings. We can leverage one another. The second thing is it actually allows us to build intimacy. And the third thing is trust. By effectively learning how to have effective dilemma discussions, which I teach my couples, it helps me to understand how you think, who you are, what you value, what the world looks like from your side. And this allows us to build trust and deepens intimacy. In fact, sometimes what I see a lot of couples who tell me they never fight, they really lack intimacy. And this is both at an emotional level, and it can sometimes also play out at, in their sex life. And the fourth thing that helps you with learning how to do effective dilemma discussions or conflict is it improves your sex life. Um, because paradoxically, it's really hard to have sex with somebody who you're really angry with or you're avoiding or you're not able to be close to and solve problems. So this stuff often plays out in your bedroom. So I help couples learn the effective skills to leverage their differences, uh, to see opportunities um, in their differences. And the reality is most people don't learn how to do um, marriage, and they definitely don't learn how to do dilemma discussions. So this is one of the ways I help couples who are married to a conflict avoider, or if you're a conflict avoider, I can help you see that uh, conflict doesn't have to be scary. I'm doing conflict all the time in my office, and people often, once they get the skills, feel closer they feel empowered, they feel understood, and this, these are the things you need for a great marriage and a great sex life. So I have a lot of articles written on my website, so please visit All in the Family Counseling. Um, otherwise, please feel free to uh, send me an email or uh, to make an appointment, you can just uh, contact me at country code 659030-7239. And all that information is on my website at All in the Family Counseling. Thank you so much for watching my video. Bye.